Hey YouTube, David Staples back with another video. So I figured I'd go ahead and start a Cisco series for some of the Cisco classes that I teach. Uh, I do teach the Cisco CCEMT and of course the CCNA that goes along with that as well. And wanted to make sure that students have a way to kind of go back through and review some of the pieces that they may not necessarily be as comfortable with. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be talking about how to configure the host name on a Cisco router and a Cisco switch. Uh, so let's get started right now. So, as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about how to configure the host name on a Cisco router and on a Cisco switch. So, let's go ahead and pull up. Uh, I've got Packet Tracer running here. I do have GNS3 as well, uh, but Packet Tracer seems to work well for these purposes here. So, we're going to be going through and naming the or setting the host name on these switches and routers here. And we're going to video by video go ahead and configure the network. Uh, I'll actually go through and configure it once with RIP, and then I'll uh, reconfigure it with OSPF another time, and then EIGRP uh, for a third video. Uh, but we're going to take this kind of piece by piece and make sure that everyone understands how to actually make these devices talk to each other. So before we get started into the configurations of the routers and switches, as far as IP addresses and networks and that kind of thing, uh, you do see that in Packet Tracer here, I've got a whole bunch of uh, different devices, such as Switch 1, Switch 2, Switch 3, and so on, that all need to uh, have their host name actually set on the device. Well, they don't really need to, but I'm going to. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull up our first device. I'm going to start with Switch 5 over here, and we're going to come into the command line interface, and looks like it's up. So right now we can see that we are in user mode. Basically, I don't really have any privileges in here. I can't configure anything. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put it into enable mode. So I can type in the full word enable or I can use shortcuts such as just the word EN or the letters EN. And that takes me into enable or privileged mode where I have more privileges to do certain things. So let's go ahead and go into configuration mode now. So that's global configuration mode. So to get into that, I can say uh, configure, oh, helps to be able to type, configure terminal. Uh, I could also abbreviate that as just conf t, which is the way that a lot of people do it. So either way works just fine. So that takes me into the global configuration. And now I need to set the host name. So we said this is going to be switch 5. I'm just going to name it just the same thing I have the label over on Packet Tracer. So I'll type in host name and then SW5 and press enter. And you'll see that now it has actually set my switch name from just switch to SW5. So I'll go ahead and exit out of global configuration mode here. And of course, once I exit out of here, I do want to go ahead and uh, copy this running configuration over to save it as part of my startup configuration. So next time I actually do a reload or the switch reboots, it will actually still come up as being SW5. If I don't save this, then obviously the next time I reboot, it will not show up as SW5, but instead it will show up just as the switch that it pulled up as earlier. So let's go ahead and copy this here. So I'll say copy, run. I could also do running dash config to startup dash config. That works just as well. Uh, if you don't want to use the full command, if you just want to use those abbreviations that we were talking about, we can say copy run space start and press enter. And of course, it's going to ask for the destination file name. Where do you want to write this configuration to? So I'm just going to leave it as the startup config because that is where I want to save it to. And so I've got this switch now configured. So let's go ahead and move on to my other switches just so you can kind of see this a couple of times. You know, typically the more you see this, the more you work with it, the easier it is to remember. So I'll go ahead and pull up switch number four here. Pull up the command line interface just like we did with the other one. So remember that I can use EN or I can use the full word enable. So I'll go ahead and use the full word this time. So this takes me into, remember what the name of this mode is? This is going to be the privileged or the enable mode. So then we'll go into global configuration mode. So again, we can use the shortcut that I had used earlier, or we can use the full term, which is configure terminal. And of course, now this takes into the global configuration mode. So I'll set my host name here to SW4. And then of course I can exit out of the global configuration mode and copy my running config to startup config. 
And I'm going to just confirm that. And just so you can see that after I reboot this switch, if I issue a reload command, once it reboots, you'll actually see that it does actually come up with the host name still being SW4. Okay, so while that's rebooting, we're going to go ahead and pull up switch 3, run through this again. So EM to enable, uh, config T, and then I'll issue the host name. Uh, here we're on switch 3. And from here, we'll go ahead and exit out of there and copy this from run to start. We'll confirm that. And so we're done. So I am going to go ahead and pull up one of my routers next, just so that you can see kind of that it is pretty much the same type of interface here. So I'll go ahead and come into, this is R4. And so I'll hit enable. We'll go into uh, config T. And then we'll set our host name here to R4 or router 4. So set our host name, exit. And then, of course, we're going to copy running config to startup config. Now, that copy running config to startup config is a very important thing to notice that syntax. Some of the types of things that the Cisco exam could throw at you do have to do with, you know, do you know your syntax? And, of course, one of those could very well be, do you know which comes first, the running config or the startup config? Now, of course, what happens if you would run a copy startup config space running config? Well, it's going to basically overwrite what's currently in memory, right? So you're going to take the boot up file, the, the saved copy of your configuration, and you're going to say, I want to overwrite what is currently in memory. In other words, if you've made changes, you're about to lose all of those changes if you did a copy startup config to your running config. So, of course, to save this, we want to make sure that I do have that syntax correct. I've got the copy running config to startup config. I'll press enter, confirm that I do want to overwrite the startup config. And of course, that is pretty much it. So, so let's go ahead and find the switch that rebooted here. So I believe that was switch four over here, right? You can see that it rebooted, came back up, saved that host name. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of the host names so that we can uh, get ready for our next video where I'll be walking through setting up the IP addresses of our router so that we can make sure that all these different devices can talk to each other. So uh, in the meantime, be sure to check out the rest of this playlist. Uh, hopefully I'll have more videos by the time uh, you guys are watching. And be sure to click on that subscribe button and the little thumbs up or like, and I will see you guys very soon. Thanks for tuning in.